Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be all about the nudes. Not those nudes, but lipstick nudes. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, bullet lipsticks, and all the yummy stuff. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, hola, my name is Karina, also known as OMG Lashes, and I love doing videos like these where I share my favorite products, drugstore products, etc etc affordable today we are going to be doing a mix of high-end and drugstore so if you do like videos like these don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and obviously subscribe to my channel because it's free 99 so i'm not gonna rant too much into the intro i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to turn on your little bell notification so you never miss any of my videos and without further ado Let's go ahead and jump into my favorite go-to nude lipsticks. We have quite a bit of lip liners to go through, so let's quickly run through these. We have a mix of high-end and drugstore, so make sure you guys grab your pen and your paper or grab your notes on your phone and take some notes because you guys are going to want some of these. Trust me. First lip liner that I have here is by the brand Italia. This is a brand that I've raved about for a few years now. I discovered them. I don't even know how, I just remember that I found them through eBay. I ordered like a stack of lip liners when I got them in the e in the ma <laughs> in the mail and I tried them out. I was like, oh my gosh, mind blown. These are super affordable, you guys. If you are on a budget, these are the lip liners that you definitely need to try out. They're very similar to the MAC lip liners where they are a, um, a pencil liner or a, I think that's what you call them, right? Where you have to sharpen them, which... <laughs> look at my mine are not sharpened but you do have to sharpen these but these are so creamy so the first shade that i have here is called chocolate chocolate is such a gorgeous deep brown it's almost like a very nutty color it does have a little bit of red undertones as you can see but this one is stunning you guys this pairs well with so many different colors you can throw a peach color in here you can throw a very light brown very creamy like almost a white toned lipstick and it's just going to blend beautiful next up is a high-end product so this is the makeup forever artist color pencil so this is in the shade limitless brown obviously makeup forever is a little bit more expensive this one though is stunning this is a true deep chocolate brown perfect for the fall you guys for the winter times i gravitate towards these lip liners when i really want to create a dramatic lip drawing in your lips with this and then just creating a really soft lipstick in the middle i'm going to show you guys my favorite combo when i use this uh lip liner but this one's one of my absolute favorites when it's getting a little bit chillier outside or again if i'm wanting to do a super dramatic lipstick but this is so gorgeous again very creamy very pigmented and it just glides on the only thing is that you do have to sharpen them as you go but it's not a problem. This one has been loved, you guys. She has been used and abused. This is another Italia Deluxe lip liner. This is in the uh, side, or what? This is in the shade brown. I think this one was one of the first lip liners that I ever bought, and I just fell in love and went through them like that. As you can see, like, look at her, she's tiny. I would say that this has to be a dupe for MAC Cork. I remember wanting that lip liner for so long and I just couldn't dish out the prize for a lip liner. I was like, yeah, no thanks. So I went ahead and like I said, I bought these and I've been obsessed with them ever since. This one is another brown, but as you can see, it's a little bit more on the cool tone side. All the browns that I have so far are different from each other. This one pairs super nice with everything. That's why I love this one so much. You can use it with a peach lipstick, a very like nude, brown nude lipstick. You can also wear with a pink lipstick, which is rare. I don't really wear pinks, but there's something about this lip liner that just goes so well. It's like a universal lip liner. This is absolutely a must have for me. Um, I definitely need a backup. Now this one is a little bit strange. I actually came across this shade when I went to California back in March. And again, this is by the brand Italia. So you can find these if you live in California in Los Callejones where they have like a bunch of makeup. You can definitely find some Italia lip liners. So this one is in the shade Taupe. This one, this one is an odd. This is the, I wouldn't say the ugly duckling, but it is definitely strange. As you can see, it is very 
very cool tone. I typically don't go for cool tone lip liners or lipsticks in general. I feel like they make me look a little bit weird. But I'm going to show you guys my favorite lip combo when I do want to do a cool tone look depending or a cool tone lip depending on my eye look. If it's um, more towards a cool tone uh, vibe, then I definitely want to use something like that. This is not something that I reach for, like I said, but it's something that I feel like I have to have in my collection for those days that I am feeling the cool tone vibe. These are by uh, ColourPop. These are their lippy pencils. So I have BFF3. BFF3, I came across it a few months ago, and oh my gosh, I've been obsessed with it ever since. I believe Taisha here on YouTube talked about it, and I was like, okay, if she says I need it, I need it. So that one is BFF3. As you can see, that one as well is very different from all the other ones. The only thing that I'm not a fan of these ColourPop Libby pencils is that they tend to not break, but as you go sharpening them, like they glide back and forth a lot. I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but I've had excuse me, so many issues with that with these lip liners. So I have to talk about these lip liners because these are my absolute favorite. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So these are the KKW Beauty Nude 2 and Nude 2.5 lip liners. As you can see, these are pretty small as well because these are probably the ones that I gravitate towards without thinking. Like I just reach for them and apply them. So my first option is always Nude 2. This is the one that again, I am wearing on my lips. Now this one is similar to some other ones that I have here now that I'm looking at them, but all of them have a different undertone and if, you know, like not everybody's going to understand. They're going to be like, what are you talking about? So it's this one at the very end. It's just a different type of brown. Again, I want to describe it as a chestnut, almost like terracotta brown, but it's not as red. I love this lip liner. The other one that I love is the 2.5. This one is a little bit more brown. This is definitely a true brown, but it's not as brown or as deep as the Makeup Forever. It is this one right here. Another one that is absolutely my favorite is the NYX Lip Liner in Earth Tone. This isn't part of their suede collection. This is just like the regular lip liner. This one is more of a red burgundy brown. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's this last one, this big swatch that I just have on the bottom here. The very last lip liner that I have here is by ColourPop. And this is what I mean when they get all weird. Look at that point and it like comes out. So this is the collaboration with Shayla and this is BFF4. Now this one could definitely be a dupe for the Makeup Forever Limitless Brown Lip Liner. They're very dark, but this one is just a little bit deeper than this one. This very last shade right here is the ColourPop and Shayla. And then the one up top, the second one, is this one right here, the Makeup Forever. They're very similar to each other where they're both very, very deep brown, almost like a deep chocolate brown. But I feel like the Makeup by Shayla is a little bit more of a deeper, darker brown versus the Makeup Forever. Let's move on to the products that I have the least of, and that is the liquid lipsticks. For some reason, I do love liquid lipsticks because I personally love an all matte lip versus a lip gloss. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I also love lip glosses. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of my absolute favorite go-to liquid lipsticks that I love the formula and I just love the undertone. So let's start with the first one that I have right in front of me. This is probably the one that I've used the most. This one as well is by ColourPop. So this is actually the collab again with Sheila and ColourPop. So these came in a bundle and oh my gosh, when I saw this, I was like, I absolutely need it. So this is in the shade Slow Down. And this one, you guys, is... Oh my god, it's stunning. If you are my skin tone even a little bit deeper, I think you're going to love this one. I absolutely love this shade. I think it is perfect for applying it with a very dark lip liner, blending it in, and then just dabbing this all over your lips. It's so stunning, you guys. I really like the formula on this specific liquid lipstick. Next is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. I used to love the Lolita shade, but ever since I discovered this one, it's like Lolita who? So this one is going to be a little bit more cool tone as you can see, but with this one as well, 
It does have a little bit more of a mauve undertone, but it's still remaining cool. I love to use this one with a brown lip liner to kind of give it that hint of warmth. And I love this one. Every time I'm wearing this lip liner, everybody asks me like, what is on your lips? And I'm like, Cat Von D, bow and arrow. Next one is more of a new discovery. If you guys remember, I did a whole lipstick swatch and a review of the new Maybelline Coffee Collection, the Super Stay Matte Ink. If you guys missed that, I will have a link in the description or a link in the card right here as well as the description box. This one is my absolute favorite from the bunch. This one is in the shade Chai Genius and it's this baby right here. It's this one right here, as you can see. It is a little bit more true nude, like a true beige. Oh, I love this one so much. I feel like this one is going to be perfect for the summer or the summer for the fall that is coming up. The only thing that I do have to say is that these take a while to dry down on the lips. And then when they dry down or when they're drying down, if you don't let them fully dry, they do get a little bit tacky and you get that like weird ring around your mouth so that is the only thing that i don't like about this formula but i personally don't mind it because when i wear these i know what's going to happen so i just throw on a lip gloss and i call it a day but gorgeous gorgeous shade if you guys want to see more about this again i will have it listed in the description box now a drugstore lipstick that is wow gorgeous is the carity lip lock these are waterproof liquid lipsticks you guys and these are only six dollars you can find these at cvs and i don't know where else but i know cvs for sure carries them this is in the shade sugary sweet this is unlike any other lips, liquid lipstick that I own. It is very, very, very nude. It's a very soft. It's a very soft nude. It is that one right there. I don't know how to describe the undertone besides gorgeous. <laughs> it's so pretty, you guys. Again, this one with a darker lip liner and then just applying this to the center gorgeous i love this one and i love their formula another affordable liquid lipstick is this one by morphe in the shade taunt i love this one when i'm feeling a little bit more of a peachy vibe this is the color that i gravitate towards so it is this one right here and as you can see it's very similar to the one that we swatched up here but it's a little bit lighter I really like this formula as well. It does dry down very nicely. It's comfortable on the lips. It's not over drying and it doesn't crack on the lips, which some liquid lipsticks do that and the Morphe ones don't. Next up is probably one of my absolute, absolute favorite lipsticks. This is by MAC in the shade Naturally Transformed and this is a matte finish. This one is such a pretty color. This doesn't really go well with a lot of people, as you can see. It's very similar to my skin tone. It's a very, very, very light beige, almost like a cream beige. But again, either applying it onto the center of the lips, dabbing it with a dark lip liner. Oh my gosh, this just looks so beautiful. Next two lipsticks are also by KKW. And these are the Nude 4 and the Nude 6. So here are the shades. On the left is Nude 4 and on the right is Nude 6. Nude 6 is the perfect 90s lipstick. I love wearing this one with, again, a deep brown lip liner like this one, the ColourPop and Shayla, and then applying this all over. Oh, it gives me such a 90s vibe. And then the Nude 4 is a little bit more beigey, cool tone brown. Both of these have a satin finish, which I personally like. I like to throw on a lip gloss when I'm wearing these because it just makes your lips look very glossy. Next up is Huda Beauty. This one is their Staycation Matte Lipstick. Oh my gosh. This one is very similar to the one that I just swatched by MAC, which is Naturally Transformed. Very cool tone, beigey nude. And again, not to sound like a broken record, but these with a brown lip liner just look so bomb. Absolutely worth every single penny. This one is not necessarily matte. I feel like it has, it does say that it's a matte lipstick, but I feel like it has a slight satin finish to it. But again, don't mind that. Two of my favorite formulas from the drugstore are by the brand L'Oreal. So I have here Ultra Nude and L or Full Blown, the Full Blown 
fawn. Oh my gosh, I need to take a nap. So right here we have a full blown fawn and then ultra nude. So as you can see, full blown fawn, that is a mouthful, is a very cool tone. Remember that I told you guys that I had a lip combo that was my favorite. So I love to use the L'Oreal full blown fawn with the Italia lip liner in taupe, which is that very, very cool tone uh, lip liner. These two together look absolutely stunning. It's very cool tone, but it's so pretty. Ultra Nude, which is this one right here, is just your typical beigey, brown, peachy nude. If you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for sticking by, I swear. I'm gonna go through these lip glosses really quick because I mean, what do you say about lip glosses? You either like them or you don't. So I have two of my absolute favorite lip glosses by Maybelline. The first one here is from their new collection. This is their Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid in the shade Amber. Again, I did do a full review in swatches of these lip glosses. These are so pretty, you guys. I love the formula. I think out of all of them, this is like my top favorite formula. It's very creamy. It does feel a little bit thicker on the lips but it doesn't feel like sticky or it doesn't like bunch up on your lips. It's very creamy. So it's this one right here and Amber is a very pretty corally peach shade. Really pretty and I love how shiny and just juicy it makes your lips look. Next up is the shade Tan Line and this is their, well, I don't know, it has a name on here that I cannot pronounce. Now this one is a little bit more cool tone. It really brings out those cool undertones without making it look too ashy. Such a pretty lip gloss, and like I said, because it does have those iridescent little sparkles, it just makes your lips look super, super juicy. One of my absolute favorite, favorite lip glosses is this one by Alamar Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Las Desnude As. This one, you guys, oh my gosh. This one is very similar in formula to the Maybelline ones, where it's very thick, but it's very creamy, and it almost feels like you have a lip balm on the lips. I love the wand on this one as well. I have here two Dose of Colors lip glosses that are just my absolute go-to. And I'm actually wearing kind of a mix of both. So I have the shade Can You Not and Honey, I'm Home. Both of these shades have a very light undertone. I don't know how to describe them, but they're very pretty. So the one over here is Honey, I'm Home. And then the other one is Can You Not. So Can You Not is a little bit more of a pinky light nude. And this one is more of a peach i don't know but it's so pretty you guys oh my gosh my favorite one has to be honey i'm home when i'm wearing a very light lipstick on the center it just brings those colors out and the formula is so bomb i wanted to mention this one because i feel like it's pretty similar to honey i'm home by dose of colors this one is by nyx these are their butter glosses oh my gosh when nyx launched these like Years ago, I was obsessed with this formula. I literally had every single shade. The only thing that I have to say is that I'm not a fan of the wand. It is so tiny, like you literally have to dip your brush back in so many times and apply it on the lips. This is the color right here. Again, this one is a fortune cookie. It's a really, really light pinky peach nude. And the smell of these are out of this world. They smell so yummy. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. Those were a lot of products, but genuinely these are the products that I recommend cold heartedly because I love them and I think you guys are going to love them as well. As always, I would love to know what your favorite product is, if I missed any, if there's something that I need to try out, any brands, because I definitely need to branch out and try other avenues, <laughs> other brands and things like that. So don't forget to leave me your favorites, either nude lip combo or your favorite lip gloss, lip lipstick, um, bullet lipstick, lip liner, whatever it is. That is it for me, you guys. I am hungry. I am sleepy. So I'm going to make myself some food and I'm going to take a nap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I will have in the sites here the videos that you can watch so you can catch up with my latest, latest videos. Thank you for being here again. I love you all. Stay safe. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.